Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I will be reviewing Big Picture by Kyle Purnell. So before we do this, please like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it and check out my online magic resource course program of over 600 videos, 100 live sessions. I host live sessions every week where you can hang out with me and guest lecturers such as David Williamson, Danny Goldsmith, and, uh, and we've got Steve Reynolds next week, which is gonna be fun, and uh, loads of other people. It's such a, people are saying how amazing it is. You see the Trustpilot reviews. Uh, I'm very proud of it, and it's a very cool thing. So check out onlinemagic.co. If you do sign up to the newsletter, which you'll see there, you'll get one of those annoying pop-ups if it's the first time you visited, understand I'm not going to spam you. You get to ask questions in that newsletter, and I bring them onto this channel, which is cool. On that, and this isn't a, another advertising thing for my course, but do check out onlinemagic.co. <laughs> um, if these reviews and the review I'm going to do now are kind of stream of consciousness, I don't write them, they're not scripted. I take a few notes, so there will be bits that I miss out. If you have any questions about this, this product, Big Picture, or any of the others, do comment below. And on the, th the Thursday evening sessions, the live shows that I do here at five o'clock, I will answer those questions. So that's kind of what they're for. They're, co they're kind of cool. So uh, don't, don't, if, I, if I miss something out, don't go, oh, if you ask a question, you'll get the answer this Thursday when I do the comments on comment show. But let's get on with the good stuff. Big picture. This is uh, Kyle Panel's latest free vanishing ink. People were talking about this at Magic Live and everybody was talking about Magic Live. Everybody was at Magic Live. It seemed that literally everybody in the world, uh, in the world was at Magic Live this year, except for me. So reading uh, Facebook was kind of exciting and lovely, but I was a bit jealous and I got a bit sad every now and then, but I will go one day. I've got to go to more magic conventions. Uh, but people were talking about this and I heard a description of it and it sounded really interesting. Uh, very briefly, you'll see footage of this, you'll watch a trailer. I have some footage of the first time I ever performed. Let's, just, let's say demonstrated to be generous, shall we? Uh, this trick to the girls next door in the office. Uh, Kyle's got a lovely presentation where he says he's practicing mind reading and it's a mind reading training deck and it's got these words on it. They can look at any word at all. And the long and short of it is that at the end you've got these two predictions and you turn them over and it creates a picture of what they're thinking about. Which is very cool, very quirky, very unique and, um, and lovely. You know, it's, it, it's different. I've got a very unusual deck of cards. <laughs> you look at me and if you don't trust me. <laughs> I don't. It's jiggery pokery you're up to. I know. Well, I've, I've made a prediction <laughs> in my spare time. Right, okay. I've got two cards in here um, and I'm going to put the prediction two cards there. Give me a chance, you see, five, two. Right. Because um, here we got words, all right? Nothing on this side, um, but we've got some words here. Okay, we'll yeah. That one, because you've seen that one. And I want you to just think of one, one of these that are on these cards. All right? okay. Don't tell me what one. And yeah. I'm going to look away. I'll kind of look over here a little bit so you don't think I'm reading your face or anything like that. Um, but just make sure that You get one of those in your head. Imagine the way the kind of words are on the on the card and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you love one now, yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay. And you could have had any of these ones. Look. But you've got one of those in your head. And there's no way I can know what it is. No. But I've got two chances because of my my prediction. Yeah. All right. So um, wasn't pyramid, was it? No. Nope. What, what what was it? Heart. Heart. So if we go through it, I'm showing you all these things so over. You know, there's definitely heart in there. You didn't just think of it out of your head, did you? It's definitely. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right. So you got heart. Yeah. Um, and again, you're happy that you just. This is just in here. I haven't asked you to stay beforehand. No. We can just. You can just put that there. And this is my prediction here. Right. So hopefully one of them's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, it should be just a 
So there are, it's always a good sign when there's not much to say about a trick because that's what it does. That's the trick. There are a couple of things that I think are important. Well, first thing is I really like it. Since getting that footage, I've performed this a number of times. I've done it with Kyle's presentation. I've done it with a kind of just talking through it kind of presentation that we all do when we're kind of learning something. I will say it does, it is better when it has a bit of justification. But one of the things I was worried about was it, well, it's, you know, when you have these prediction cards, they're on bicycle stock and there's a bicycle box. You don't have to have a bicycle box. If you really want to move things around, change things around and almost recreate parts of the trick, you could put it in a different box. But actually what happens is that people think it's a card trick and then they go, oh, it's something different. And that's quite a nice, I quite like it that they think that and then they it's going to be something different. It kind of wrong foots them, but in a really, really good way. So I've got no problem now with it being a, uh, in, in bicycle cards. And, and good people know you're not actually really in minds, right? With this kind of trick. It's a fun thing. He claims that this has no moves and the, is, I think he says the, the cards do the work for you. E yes and no. There is some handling involved in this and there's practice that you'll need to do for that handling to make it smooth and to make it confident and to make it fly. There is no sleight of hand, I will say that, but well, it depends if you, there's a couple of shuffles in it that will make, will make it more convincing that again aren't difficult, it's kind of basic rudimentary stuff, but you are going to have to be able to handle cards quite confidently. If you've never handled a deck of cards before and you pick this up, it's going to take a bit more work. So I would say there's moves, as in a couple of shuffles. There is a, a kind of the way you show the uh, two prediction cards. That's going to take a bit of practice just so you're not having to think about it. So you're not going, oh, I've got to do that and that. On that, there's, there's this bit that you'll see uses the cellophane of the card box. Don't do what I did. I found that very tight. And when I was trying to do it, I couldn't do it properly. And I started messing with things and taking the cellophane off and I couldn't get it back on then I had to get another but it, don't do that watch the whole thing because what happens is that bit I was struggling with the vanishing ink guys come on and actually talk you through it and a better way of doing that and avoiding this kind of thing that that happened to me where I couldn't get the card out of the box it was all too tight and that will make sense when if you get it but what i'm saying is if you get it make sure you watch the whole the two videos on the download which are great the teaching's great before you start messing up things like i did i always do it i'm an idiot don't be like me now it feels like a very original trick there have been i've been made aware of uh, uh leo reed had an idea back in i think 2021 um in genie where he had a similar thing where it has um he put the pictures of a prediction. So kind of the same idea, but a different method. Uh, this one, uh, as with another claim he makes, is that it's not a force. It isn't. When they're looking at those cards, they can look at any one of those cards at that moment, and it will be that one. And, and that's a really, really nice thing. So this is getting really strong reactions. It's not, I'm not getting that gut punch reaction yet with it, but that's, I think, because I haven't, I haven't really, I'm not overconfident with it, even though it's easy, I can't find my sort of, my presentation of it yet. So for me at the moment, it's not a closer, it's something that I do at the beginning or in the middle and close with something that's just, just a bit more, you know, for me this is, this is different, but it's not yet getting that proper big, big response. There have been a couple of times where people have got close to working it out. I think because you've got these two pictures and one of them is very basic, it, depending on what, what, one, what one they think of, they've started putting things like, oh, so what I would suggest is if you're gonna do this, kind of move on to another trick. Again, why it's almost good that it's not a closer. Don't give people a chance, finish a trick, gather it up, do something else afterwards. Nobody's really worked it out properly because when they backtrack it, they've gone, actually I chose any word but, and it, but I'm, I'm just saying there are a couple of bits in this that if you're not careful, you could, again, when you're learning, leave, leave too much up to the imagination. Okay, so great trick, easy, little bit of work to be done, a, a quirky thing and a very honest trick. You, you, it does what it says and, um, and I think you're going to enjoy it. And it's very well made. It's a really decent deck. It's going to last you. And, uh, and it's great. So there you go. Carl Parnell, Kyle Purnell, Carl Pinell, Kyle Purnell, 
Uh, big picture. Thank you, Vanishing Inc., for sending that to me. Please use the links below. They're not affiliate links. Uh, if you're going to buy it and like and subscribe, share it if you want, if you like it, and comment and check out onlinemagic.co. And you've got a couple of free courses down there in the, in the info bit as well. Take care.